Let's solve the following trig equation. We have the tangent of x times the secant of x. That's equal to 3 times the tangent of x. And we're looking for our solution between 0 and 2 pi radians. All right, first thing, let's move the 3 tangent x to the left-hand side. So our transformed equation looks like the tangent of x times the secant of x minus 3 times the tangent of x. That's going to be equal to 0. Now, we want a multiplication problem on the left, so we'll factor a tangent of x out in front, multiply by what remains, which in this case is the secant of x minus 3, and that's going to be equal to 0. Now that we have our multiplication equal to 0, we can set the tangent equal to 0. So tangent x equals 0, and also set the secant of x minus 3 equal to 0. Now, the tangent of x equals 0, we know this to occur when x is equal to 0 degrees and also when x is equal to 180 degrees. Secant of x minus 3 equals 0, that's a little more involved. We need to solve for the secant of x. We know that the secant of x is equal to 3. We have to remember our reciprocal relationship between the secant of x and the cosine of x. The secant of x can be written as 1 over the cosine of x equal to 3 over 1. Now, if you cross multiply, solve for the cosine of x, we obtain the cosine of x as being equal to a positive 1 third. Now, since the cosine is positive, when does this occur? We know that this happens in quadrant 1 and also in quadrant 4. So let's address quadrant 1. This is our non standard value for the cosine. So if you take the inverse cosine of both sides and you have your calculator in degree mode, we're going to come up with an angle of approximately 70.5288 degrees, and that's true to four decimal places. Now note, because that's in quadrant one, that is in fact our reference angle, and we'll use that reference angle to find our solution in quadrant four. So in quadrant four, our solution is approximately 289.4712 degrees. Now, go back to the very beginning here. The author wanted our solution between 0 and 2 pi radians, so our job is now to convert all four of our solutions to radians. So x equals 0 degrees will give us 0 radians. Make sure that we don't put a label on that. We know that 180 degrees is the same thing as pi radians. Down here with our decimals, it's a little bit more challenging. We're going to multiply each of those by pi over 180, and from that we'll get an approximate radian answer of 1.2310 for the first, and 5.0522 approximately for our second. So we now have the four solutions to this trig equation between 0 and 2 pi radians.